Hi, I'm Michael from Turbidor, and we're going to be running through an alternate brew method today called the AeroPress. What you're going to be needing to, to make the AeroPress out in the wild is some clean, fresh, hot water, a coffee grinder, we're using the Porlex Mini, a cup to put it in, a trusty AeroPress, the kit comprises of a spoon, a paddle, the brew basket, the coffee loader, and the main AeroPress, which is the plunger, and the brew chamber, and some fresh coffee beans. First things first, we need to start grinding our coffee. So what you need to do is take your coffee grinder, remove the handle, remove the top, and this is the chamber that your coffee beans go into. So let's open our coffee, take it open, pull it open. Last thing about this coffee bag is we've got this resealable zip on here, so it keeps your coffee fresh. Because we're out in the wild, we're just gonna eyeball it. Um, as you can see, there's no scales, so this is the spoon that comes with the, the AeroPress. Level to the top is about 16 grams. We're needing about 17. So what we'll do is just fill it up slightly above and then pour it slowly into, the, into our grinder. Make sure to get all the beans into the grinder. Pop on the top. Pop on the handle and get grinding. So as you can hear, the coffee's grinding. This does take some time, so work up our appetite for that cup of coffee. So what you do, you just keep going until you don't feel any more resistance. Cool. Coffee's ready. What we need to do is start getting our AeroPress ready. So first things first, you just preheat the the chamber. Make sure everything is ready. Preheat the cup. What we're also going to do is put that on there. Take one of these filters, put it into the little brew basket. Rinse it, make sure that there's no paper flavors left behind. I'm going to be doing the inverted method today. So what you do is you put your plunger at the bottom, you pop your brew chamber on top. What we're going to do now is pop in the coffee, make sure that we get as much in as possible. It should be about 17 grams. So if you're going to be adding approximately 200, 220 grams of water. Again, we're just going to be eyeballing it. So if you are looking at the AeroPress, we're going to be trying to fill it all the way up to the top. So, but before we do that, we are just going to put a couple of grams in there, give it a little stir with this paddle, just agitate the, the coffee slightly. This time we'll start the timing process. This should take about just over a minute, minute 15. We're gonna fill it all the way to the top. There we go. Pop on our little brew cap. What I like about the air press is it sort of really gives you a full, full defined flavor of coffee. This part I always associate with the plunger. It's giving time, just letting it infuse. The next part is really cool. You're taking that infused liquid, popping it over, and then you're forcing it out. So first step, just coffee infusing. Second step, taking that infused coffee and just pushing it back through the grounds, making sure you're getting a maximum flavor. Right, when it is ready, we're gonna take the cup, put it on the top, Flip it over, slowly start to plunge. Just slow and steady while you're pushing it down. I like to stop the air press just before it gets to that hissing sound. There we go. Pop it open, coffee, enjoy. Mm -hmm. 